What's that? <laughs> this is my second unboxing of a wireless earbud set. Today we're talking about the Galaxy Buds Plus. So one of my first videos, I talked about the Powerbeats Pro. You might remember the thumbnail, something like this. As good as the Powerbeats Pro are, they are not the best, especially for an Android user like myself. They don't connect as well as they connect with an iPhone. So I thought I'd go out and get some earbuds that work a lot better with a Samsung device. So obviously I went with Samsung. So here we have the Galaxy Buds Plus. This will probably be the world's easiest unboxing video ever. So we have the top. And like I learned in my Galaxy S10 video, there's a little booklet in the top. Open it up, probably nothing of use. Quick start guide as usual. Next up, we've got a pill wrapped in paper. Open that up. And then we have a box with some extra tips and rings and a cable. And that's that. All right, thanks for watching. This has been Piece. No, I'm just kidding. So this is a USB-C charged uh, case. So that's one bonus over the Powerbeats Pro, which was a lightning connector. Nothing inherently wrong about the lightning connector, but USB-C is the connection of the feature. So that's one bonus for this. Overall, this case isn't too much bigger than an AirPods case. Might be a little thicker, but I think it's quite a bit uh, less wide. On the back we see we have the USB connection. So like that. This case also has wireless Qi charging. So I think that's one bonus that it has from the non plus version. And then all we got is we open it up. We see a little green light here and there's a rubber thing that looks like buttons, but it isn't that says left and right. The earbuds are held in magnetically, so you can shake them around and you don't have to worry about them falling out. They're quite small. You've got two, uh, the charging pads that connect them to the case. And then they've got this tiny little, uh, um, tiny little wing, which you can change out for a less aggressive wing if you need to. And then the rubber bud itself, which is also changeable. To put them in, you just put them in and then twist a little bit to fit the wing underneath your little ear flap. And then here they are. Personally, I think these are some of the best fitting earbuds that I've had so far. They stick in well, and that's that. I can shake my head around. And as dizzy as I make myself, these don't fall out. I don't even feel that they've gotten looser at all after that, so that's definitely a bonus. As for the connectivity, unlike the Powerbeats Pro, which has physical buttons, this just uses a somewhat of a touchpad, similar to how the AirPods work. You can double tap the back of it to go to the next song. You can pause it with one tap. It doesn't, however, have swiping like some other earbuds have, but honestly, it's not too much of an issue for me. So one big improvement to the Buds Plus from the original Buds is the battery life. I think the original Buds has something like six to eight hours, but the Buds Plus has up to 11 hours of playtime. I've tried to do a test with this, but I can never end up using them long enough all at once to be able to test it. So obviously that's quite a good sign. I've tried to use them for a whole day and still have extra juice left at them for the end of the day. The case also has a charge. From my experience, it can charge the buds one to one and a half times over when the buds are fully empty. They're marketed as having two-way speakers for rich sound. So in my experience, it's true. These have very dynamic sounding speakers, especially if you go into the Galaxy Wearables app and change your EQ to dynamic. That makes your music just pop and it sounds really great. These also feature triple mics, which are great for uh, clear calls. 
These also have an ambient feature, which lets you hear the world around you while keeping a tight fit in your ear. So that's similar to what the AirPods do, but not what the Powerbeats Pro do. So that's another bonus for these. In the Galaxy Wearables app, you can control how much or how little you want to be able to hear. There's three settings for that ambient mode. The charge time is also pretty quick. I haven't had the chance to be able to test this out, but from the amount of times I've tested it, it's gone super quick and it always surprises me that it's finished already and then it's all ready to be used. Similar to the AirPods experience on an iPhone, these will connect to your Samsung device even if your Bluetooth is off. Once you open the case, your Galaxy will give you a notice on the bottom of the screen asking you if you want to connect them. Uh, this is obviously once you've already paired them to your phone. With this notification on the bottom, you can also see the individual charge percentage of each earbud and the case itself. Inside the app, there's also a Find My Earbuds feature. So once you click Start, it'll start making a little noise in the earbuds. So So that's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty loud for pretty small speakers like that. So as loud as that sounds, one issue that I've had with these headphones is the fact that the max volume on these isn't as loud as I'd like them to be. Although that's another issue that I had with the Powerbeats Pro, so maybe that's just me going deaf and having issues myself. But overall, this is a great product. I would highly recommend it. The little pill-shaped case fits perfectly inside of this extra little pocket that no one ever seems to use. So you can fit your Galaxy phone inside of the pocket. <laughs> Along with it, uh, if you have the Galaxy S20 Ultra like me, it'll be a tight fit, but they can sit side by side like this still, and it is not too uncomfortable. As for the extra rubber tips and wings, honestly, for me, the ones that it came with when I opened it up fit perfectly, so I haven't actually needed to change them out at all. Maybe one day I'll try and test them out again because apparently your ears never stop growing. So I guess I'll have to hold on to these for quite a while. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up underneath this video and comment down below what kind of uh, headphones you have. Maybe I'll have to do a third wireless earbud video down the line. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.